following that, the 105 interchange, uh, and it looks as though, and what you would expect at this time of night on that southbound 605, a little bit of congestion as you approach the 5 freeway, uh, though the diamond lane looks to be clear enough at this point. Gil, we know the driver uh, is uh, known to authorities. Uh, they are calling him armed and dangerous. Uh, any idea how many other people, if anyone else, may be in this car? They haven't mentioned uh, any, any passengers in the vehicle at this point. We haven't heard that yet from the CHP. As I push in, though, it's going to be really difficult to tell. Those windows are heavily tinted all the way around, so we can't even get a, a look at the driver right now at this point. But uh, you can see, as you mentioned, yes, in the diamond lane there, uh, no problem with traffic, but in the slower lanes, it is definitely slowing down. And uh, traffic is moving ahead, but it's moving maybe 20 miles an hour in the other lanes. So at this point, uh, the driver has somewhat of a clear pathway in that uh, carpool lane. And of course, CHP will hand off jurisdiction as this moves across Southern California, uh, potentially into Orange County here shortly. Uh, as this moves southbound on the 605, the option for this driver would be the 105 eastbound uh, coming up here in the next couple of miles. Uh, or beyond that, the 91 freeway, uh, or obviously continuing southbound on the 605, and it'll run you all the way down to the 405 uh, if that's what the driver opts to do. But law enforcement here, the CHP, uh, behind this suspect, again, wanted for reckless driving and is considered armed and dangerous, according to the CHP. This coming out of the Baldwin Park CHP office uh, and now moving toward the Orange County line uh, southbound on the 605. From what we understand, the driver is the lone occupant in this vehicle, uh, moving at speeds north of 80 miles an hour for a time uh, up along the 210 freeway as it moves southbound onto the 605 uh, and now through the Whittier area into Santa Fe Springs and approaching uh, the Norwalk area where the 605 meets the 5 freeway uh, and then of course the 105 freeway so plenty of options for this suspect of course if he decides to remain on the freeway uh, there's always the option of getting off the freeway that we see them do and and double back in in the direction uh, where the pursuit started at this point no indication of anything other than flying straight ahead uh, at high speeds we've seen this suspect Gil for the most part in the diamond lane Absolutely, and uh, he's continuing there. He's coming across the 5 freeway here, so the 5 freeway is not an option for the driver. He just crossed over the 5, so you're right. 105 and the 91 will be the next options for the driver, and as I look ahead, the, the traffic actually clears up here past the 5. It's, it picks up to normal freeway speeds, so the driver will have options as far as uh, choosing lanes, but at this point, you know, the uh, CHP doing all they can to try to stop it. No word on any spike strips, and it's, uh, of course, going too fast for a pit maneuver. Yeah, and there's just enough traffic on this freeway uh, to render the CHP uh, in a position where they're just behind this suspect and not making uh, any sort of offensive move to try and bring this to an end. Uh, the time is on the side of the CHP here as they move southbound and obviously the next jurisdiction, uh, the CHP is aware of this and prepared to take over uh, as is often the case when these pursuits go across a wide swath of the area. Uh, you've got different jurisdictions within the, the CHP Anton? to keep a, a fresh fast. set of eyes a and a fresh set of nerves uh, behind behind the suspect as you see the CHP engaging here at close to 100 miles an hour, now over 100 miles an hour, as traffic begins to lighten up again here on the 605 southbound, now approaching uh, the 91 freeway. Uh, that'll be the option, the next available option for this driver if he's to remain on freeways. And now for the first time, uh, straying across and away from the diamond lane here as though uh, another move might be imminent here. Gil, what, where are we here? We, it looks like an time. exit, yeah. Yeah, the vehicle is now exit, exiting at Rosecrans. We were trying to catch up to it. Uh, the vehicle going uh, over 100 miles an hour, like you said, and uh, we were trying to get a look through the windshield, but he took off on us. He's exiting here. He's got a long off-ramp here. He's got a red light. Oh, he's got a high speed. Look at this. Oh, man. Very dangerous off-ramp there for, for a car going high speed. He's got a lot of traffic there ahead of him. Let's see what the driver decides to do, if he's going to try to get in between cars. Nope, he's hard on the brakes, stopped here, and we'll see what he does at the uh, exit of the Rosecrans. Is that a high-performance vehicle? Hard to say from this uh, vantage point, Gil. 
You know, I think it's a BMW, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, here goes left turn, eastbound on Rosecrans. He's going to go under the bridge. It looks, oh, no, he's going to go back on the 605 southbound. So we're going to try to get ahead of it, Anton. Let's go forward and uh, try to get ahead of it and get a look in the inside the windshield. But, yeah, he did. Uh, it is a BMW. He did go uh, onto Rosecrans for a second there and then got back on the freeway. As though he would lose authorities. I would presume they are tracking this from the air as well, Gil? Yes, definitely. They have the uh, airship overhead and ground units uh, a little bit back there. They may have had some traffic issues getting off the off ramp there, but they are in. They are they are behind the vehicle right now and back on the freeway here, almost uh, getting up to 80 miles an hour. CHP locked in. This driver considered armed and dangerous, according to authorities. Wanted for reckless driving. This is out of the 210 westbound San Dimas area as the Baldwin Park CHP initiated uh, and engaged this suspect now moving southbound on the 605 and they are locked in on the ground with the black and whites immediately behind this suspect moving at times uh, above 100 miles an hour and of course tracking this from the air as well. Uh, so they've got eyes on it in the sky and they've got the suspect here on the ground locked in and it looks like a freeway change. This is a 91 Gil. That's right, Mike. A 91 freeway. Let's see which way the driver goes here. He's going to go. E, he's going to go westbound. It looks like westbound from the 605 freeway. So we're going to continue make our turn here with him. And uh, yep, definitely westbound 91. And uh, you see the units uh, behind. They're tr going all the way across lanes. They're going to set up a, a traffic break here and try to get uh, cars to slow down behind the Percy so they have some room to, to navigate. So they'll set up a traffic break, and w would that bring any potential offensive maneuver from the CHP, uh, or, or do you believe they're content to stay behind this suspect and, and ride this out for as long as uh, he uh, decides to evade? Well, unfortunately, this freeway is very wide, so very difficult for any uh, law enforcement to get a, a spike strip in front of it. No pit maneuver. I think this, the... Uh, Traffic break will be for for the CHP's benefit to be able to maneuver, but but at these speeds though he's blowing by all these cars, so a traffic break really isn't going to help unless he gets into some traffic up ahead. And I do see it. I'm looking out the window here, and I do see at the 710 or for, or before the 710, there's uh, some heavier traffic there. So this is 91 westbound off the 605 southbound. Uh, there may be some sort of incident on the right shoulder uh, right near the 710-91 interchange. Uh, hard to say how much, if anything, it's Im impacting in terms of the traffic and the congestion. It's been fairly light, a uh, little bit of uh, congestion that we typically see as the 605 approaches the 5 and 105. Uh, but the suspect was in the diamond lane and flew right through that area at 90 miles an hour uh, and now continuing to push it uh, again wanted for reckless driving uh, and the list of charges growing tonight for a suspect behind the wheel that the CHP is describing as armed and dangerous. Uh, pretty clear that they know who they're dealing with here, uh, which begs the question as well, uh, if, if this becomes uh, increasingly dangerous and they know who they're dealing with, uh, will they continue the pursuit? Uh, in recent months, we've seen the CHP in terms of uh, aggression uh, on the high end of that scale as law enforcement uh, considers their options with pursuits. The LAPD has been known recently to back off uh, when pursuits get uh, increasingly dangerous, particularly on surface streets. Uh, but the CHP uh, is not uh, in that school of thought. From what we have witnessed, they've been very aggressive and remain so uh, against suspects, considering uh, the high speeds, the nature of the threat, and the nature of the danger to the motoring public on the freeway here. Let's, as uh, you see the suspect that. moving at over 100 miles an hour, uh, and it's very difficult oftentimes for the average motorist to see this person coming. It, you don't expect to see it in your rearview mirror. And before you know it, the snap of a finger, uh, this suspect is right on your rear bumper. And that always brings up the concern, Gil, of people pulling in front of a suspect and causing a collision at a high speed that never ends well. Oh, absolutely, Mike. He made, th made it through the, the majority of that traffic coming up to the 710. He's about on it here, and he looks like he's going to transition onto that 710 freeway. Uh, from that lane, I believe it's going to be southbound 710, and it looks like that's going to be the case. But here's going to be the issue on this curve, if he's going to be able to maintain that speed or not. The CHP is right there saying, hey, we're not giving up, and it is definitely southbound 710, 
from the 91 at high speeds. So this has gone from the 210 freeway to the 605 freeway to the 91 freeway, and now we're looking at the 710 southbound and the suspect sweeping across lanes here. CHP is locked in and it looks wide open on the 710 southbound from what we can see. Uh, and of course, that all can change in an instant uh, if, if something were to materialize out ahead of the suspect. Uh, we did see him briefly get off the freeway there uh, and jump right back on. Uh, he's got second thoughts, um, third thoughts, fourth thoughts, don't know, can't get into the mind of someone who's behaving like this uh, and, and thinking irrationally, frankly, when you're running from authorities like this, uh, putting not only your own life in danger, but so many others around you uh, as the CHP continues locked in here on the ground uh, in the black and whites uh, at times over 100 miles an hour. Uh, and, and again, following this from the air as well, the CHP helicopter. So increasingly difficult for the suspect to get away. Uh, armed and dangerous is what authorities are calling this suspect. Clearly they know who they're dealing with or they believe they know who they're dealing with. Uh, and the reckless driving initially was the want from our understanding. Uh, and we are watching this suspect now weave across lanes for a, a good stretch, Gil. It was all diamond lane all the time. Uh, and now as the suspect starts to sweep across lanes, the danger increases. It sure does. He's going all across lanes like you see him now. Uh, the problem is uh, a lot of trucks on the 710 freeway heading towards Long Beach. You got the 405 freeway in a very short distance here. The traffic looks like it's still moving all the way through the 405, and but it's going to slow down just as you pass the 405 here. Anton, let's slide in closer. Uh, but uh, yeah, you can see the traffic already slowing down. And the driver there having to uh, hit his brakes and then choose a different lane. But if he stays on that 710, he's got a parking lot ahead of him for a little bit. Yeah, 710 southbound approaching the 405 uh, and an issue here with traffic and, and a very real concern as to what an erratic driver might do uh, when pinned in, into uh, a situation where there's congestion and slower driving to, to this moment. We, we haven't seen the suspect moving, he's gonna go. uh, you know, at, at slower speeds, but it looks uh, from what you're saying, Gil, that he's moving what 405 South. It looks like he's going to transition onto that 405, but I think this lane puts him maybe back onto the freeway. We'll see here. Uh, maybe, maybe not. I don't recall if it allows you back on the freeway or not, but here he goes by that truck. And I think this is going to take him, it's going to take him uh, southbound 405 if, if anything. So we're watching a suspect that is considered armed and dangerous by CHP. They engage this suspect nope. in the San Dimas area on the 210 okay. westbound. That would have been the Baldwin Park CHP office. And the suspect uh, jumped off the freeway once briefly. But for the vast duration of this, it's been on the freeway. 210 west, 605 south, 91 west. 710 South and now dealing with the 405 uh, Let's and pick it up again. He's going to get going. Yeah. What, what, what oh, are you seeing here? It looks like an exit now. Well, he had the option of getting back onto the 710 there, but now he's taking this. Uh, this is going to be Wardlow, the exit off on Wardlow off the uh, 710. So now he's on surface streets. And of course, at this hour, very dangerous, a lot of traffic on the surface street. And it doesn't look like this driver is willing to slow down at all. Wardlow Road here, just off the 710 freeway, had an opportunity to jump on the 405 and didn't take it. Had an opportunity to stay on the 710 and didn't take it. Instead, opting for the surface streets. And when we see a pursuit at high speeds go from the freeway to the surface streets, the danger increases exponentially as you see the opportunity for cross traffic of course pedestrians uh, and a suspect that's driving like this gill uh, willing to blow through red lights as well and there is an example nearly yes. hit that suspect Stop didn't down. see him he comes up behind him and you know you're not anticipating that kind of thing uh, you change lanes minding your own business and you nearly get into an accident exactly Michael. you saw right there that, that driver trying to get over and not knowing this guy's behind him very dangerous situation now he's southbound here on long long beach boulevard i believe it is or pacific avenue as our, our map is showing but we're going to try to get uh, going southbound here we have long beach airport uh, uh airspace we're in right now but here he goes right through a red light that's through spring and uh, is going to continue southbound 
I assume a Long Beach PD is aware of this. Uh, it is obviously in their jurisdiction. The question being whether CHP will relinquish. Uh, at this point, they are intent to remain behind the suspect on the ground, moving at high speeds on surface streets, blowing through red lights. This coming all the way from the San Gabriel Valley, the San Dimas area. Uh, and now we're in the city of Long Beach here during rush hour. Left turn, eastbound. And a very aggressive CHP approach here, as you can see, right on the tail of the suspect, who was, keep in mind, going north of 100 miles an hour on the freeway for long stretches. This is a BMW, a high-performance vehicle, and the suspect considered by by law enforcement to be armed and dangerous. Uh, so dealing with a situation like this on surface streets, uh, particularly at this time of day, uh, is the utmost challenge for the CHP here uh, as they try and stay behind the suspect who is willing to run through red lights. Uh, and there you see law enforcement overhead circling uh, below Sky 5 as we continue to track this. Uh, Gil, this is uh, quite a mess this suspect has uh, gotten himself into here on surface streets now. A very difficult situation uh, when there's nobody on the road, let alone at rush hour. And yes, and here we are now on Long Beach Boulevard southbound. He's got that turn pocket. He's going to make that turn leftbound, eastbound here. Uh, he's going to go uh, under us. Hold up here, Anton. And uh, this is on uh, Hill Street, but this is the uh, second pursuit in as many days that has ended up here in Long Beach. So Long Beach PD aware of it and uh, the vehicle here traveling eastbound and coming up to another major here. That's going to be Atlantic. He's going to make that right hand turn to Atlantic. But if he continues towards the south here, he's going to run out of uh, land. He's going to go right towards the ocean right now. So that's a problem. He's going to just get into heavier traffic that way. And uh, but here we are into another neighborhood eastbound. And this sort of behavior smells of a foot bail. Can't anticipate uh, the actions of unruly suspects like this who are breaking laws with reckless disregard for the safety of the public, uh, let alone themselves. So it's very difficult to say what eastbound. might happen. Oftentimes you've seen enough of these when people get into the neighborhoods and start zigzagging like this. Uh, oftentimes you'll see him jump out of the car. Hard to say at this point. Again, this is coming out of the San Dimas area. This Southbound. has covered a lot of ground uh, in a very short amount of time. This suspect moving uh, at 100 miles an hour, and we're counting now in double digits the number of stop signs and red lights this driver has blown oh. through here. And it's just you hold your breath every time. Look at the speed, the 75, 80 miles an hour on, on a, a two-lane street at this time of day or any time of day, uh, he's just playing with fire right here. Turn. This might be it right There's here. There's the he's foot bail. Going to jump out, and he's running. He's got something in his hands. I don't know if that's keys, uh, but the airship's got eyes on him. He's calling where he's running to. He's trying to get into that house. Hopefully everybody has their doors locked on this street. We got, his, I believe, a school on the right-hand side, and there it is. He's got his hands up. He knew he had nowhere to go. Decided to give it uh, a go on foot, and probably not familiar with the area. Wow, that was uh, very, very dangerous there, particularly the last five or six minutes of this pursuit. We saw this suspect on the freeway for most of the time, uh, but then getting off the freeway and racing through surface streets at 70 miles an hour in Long Beach. Uh, Gil, the, you, uh, it looks as though the driver was the only person in that car. It sounds like it. Uh, let me come out to a wider shot. Uh, they're checking the vehicle right now. They're going to clear it and make sure no one is in the vehicle. It sounds like it was just the driver and they have the uh, car surrounded there, but at this point, the uh, driver in custody in the middle of, uh, this is 15th Street at Martin Luther King Jr. Avenue. And